darkness walk and blind Don't forget that there is always hope to find Choose your path, walk it well Break out from this living hell In this broken cage we will not be confined And when the world is starts to Hello, everybody. Hi. So, Stabby. Hi. Today. Do you know what we're Hi. doing? Do you know what we're doing today? Solving deforestation problems. No, that's, that's not... No. We're making the Krogan have babies. <gasps> yes, and you've censored it for me. Oh, uh, you, you don't see? No. Well, before we do that, though, there are, like, I was going to clean up a bunch of side quests, but... You didn't do it. No, I did, and then I realized, hey, actually, a lot of these you'd want to see. So then you stop doing it. Yes, so I reloaded my save and only did the boring ones. Hiya, Tick. Hi, Tick. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select. Uh, first up, we gotta go here. There's only really two. Uh, there's only really two that we need to do that I think you'll 
you'll want to see. And then we can go uh, go cure the genophage. Hi, Edie. Welcome to the Citadel. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Grant instead of kindness, still. I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe. I have a shepherd stay there kind of bored, like, can yep. you stretch? Yep. I should. I need to go. Listen. You you play the dying message of, of a guy to his wife and not feel awkward. Also, in case the metaphor was lost in you, yeah, they have a kid together. No. Listen, that's that's like my second favorite Krogan. Is Grunt your favorite? Grunt and Rex are my favorite. They are tied. Oh, they are tied for first. I was like, they does, does Rex first. rank below this guy? <laughs> no, no, no. No. Grunt and Rex. At top, they share space. They You're, fight regularly over you it. You are going to love the DLC. The Citadel DLC. Oh, also, I figured out where we use our extra squad mates. It's not during story missions. It's during N7 missions. So I reloaded because I'd already done one of those off screen, and I knew you'd want to see me you wreck shit with Kasumi and Rex. I fully mm -hmm. understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but please, please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Have we known this quest already? Someone in your like game one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, it's similar theme, but no. I was making a joke. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. I found these on a corpse on Benning. I think they belong to your son. Ah. Yes, it's... What I was afraid of. His mates. They looked like men drinking for a lost friend. We can mourn him now. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Dude I haven't met. Reaper wars hard on people, man. Please select a One moment, please. Like how the elevator's on a first name basis with us. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to do the N7 missions. Because I know you want to see Rex in action, and also Rex and Rex disappears from your roster after priority to Chaka. So we have to do this now if we want to do stuff with Rex. Do stuff with my boy. Your boy. My boy. Let's just make sure that he <coughs> is on the crew manifest. Unfortunately, I don't think they have voice lines, but you know. I mean, that'd be a lot. 
For a mod, yeah. <clears throat> Considering that vocal splicing was not uh, easy technology to get. And some mods do have some added uh, voice lines, but they don't sound right. Oh yeah, by the way, do you want another reason to hate Jacob? Yeah. Um, so Ashley, right? Yeah. What's her reputation? Character development. I mean, other than that, what's her, what's her negative reputation? Alien bad. Yeah. Do I know who the only character in the series to use a, an alien racial slur is? Because it ain't uh, Ashley. They could have had white girl bet. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you flirt with both Jacob and Garrus, uh, Jacob calls Garrus a cuddle bone. I'm offended on Garrus's behalf. Tick, so I kill him. I mean, yeah, that's a thing you can do. Well, you can let him die. Yeah, we let him die on purpose. That's called murder. No, that's called uh, negligent manslaughter. That's too many syllables, but call him murder. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. The sun can't stop us because we can't read! <laughs> Could you imagine if Commander Shepard was illiterate? This game would go by so much faster. Commander of Jack used some attack with a Reaper signature. That's your first sample to grab. Updating your nav point. On my way. Ah, uh, Jorb and, and Tuchankla. I missed you. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Go, go, go. Money. I don't need Back it. To head. You splattered that out of the wall. <laughs> I mean, like, a, this is an anti material rifle. No, oh, it's like when you shot the fox with the terror blast arrow last night. Yeah, exactly. A 
still think about that and make the off oh, face. Oh, was he trying to rehack his turret? Oh, it's, uh... It was time to say goodbye to that, to that friend. Just like that one sawtooth. Second sample secured. Heading back to you now. We just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. On the plus side, I don't have to hear it to see me say now you see me every five seconds. <laughs> Cloaking. Now you see me. Stay focused. This isn't over yet. You know. Popping smoke is nice until I just throw a turret that doesn't need to see you down there. You know, if I had this, I bet I could take down that Thunder Jaw, no problem. But you don't. You have bow. I have both. You have a hacker voice, I'm in battery. With some hopes and dreams. And determination. Cortez, do you copy? No, that's under Hmm? No, that's Undertale. Undertale is also hopes and dreams. Literally, the final boss fight music is hopes and dreams to save the world. Yeah, there's four extra words added to that. Punch him, please. Look at Rex. He don't care! Sniper feels like overkill. A little bit. Man, wait till he sees the Brime Fire to Chunkla. Just call it the Brawn Fire. No, the rhyme fire. Oh. I mean, brawn fire is also a good name for it. Kachunkla! Both you and Rex just crunch. Properly shielded, right? Cerberus doing with it. We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. By the way, this was the context for the multiplayer. It was uh, Shepard's come in and cleared the area, and now you have to hold it. Uh.
Hey, Rex. The Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. Just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the Genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Is there something you need? I like Rex. When he's when he said his piece, he's like, understand? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. What's up? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. <laughs> Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's a Laturian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Oh, I'm going to talk to him <clears throat> Now we'll go to the other N7 mission, and then we can go cure the Genophage. Hey, trainer. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Sure. You play strategy games. Oh. No, talk about the strategy games. She prefers chess, she said. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we might have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Real talk, though. Full ass set of rose quartz and hematite? Like, that can get real expensive! She had a $5,000 <laughs> toothbrush, Savvy. Yeah, that's fair. I love Ken and Gary. <laughs> Man, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our diesel capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Don Lee deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitors. He and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the crucible engineers. We do the work and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. We'd love to see it. Love to see it. All right. Let's look at anything. Any Spectre stuff we need? No. Alright, leave orbit. Doug, I bring Rex. You want to bring hey. someone besides Kasumi? I mean, do they have like dialogue? These these the, ones would. In the cutscene. No. Okay. Okay. Before you start, I'm gonna go take uh, my necessary drugs. A baby. All right.
I'm still negative on my second rep of COVID test. Oh, yeah. Nice. No Rona for me. Why did you whisper? Why did you whisper? Well, Shepard, why are we whispering? <coughs> By the way, those are big fucking guns. Yeah. My turret now. There's no camera wobble, it's nice. I really like the Blood Dragon armor, but it doesn't have our colors. You know? Cerberus is rough, but... Friend. Uh, you didn't read the fine print of the job. Control restored. 
Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. We did it. Woo! With those Krogan cannons, operational Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy is pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Hack it, guess stop done. Also us. We also get stuff done. Yeah, yeah we, we're doing all of the done. <coughs> no, we want we want our friends to do more damage. Absolutely. Alright. Are you ready to let the Krogan have babies? Absolutely. Baby Krogan. Rule 34 will be thrilled. So, Cat 6 is essentially, um, you're mentally unfit for duty. Oof. That's a big oof. From Kelly Chambers, thanks for understanding why I can't come back. I'm proud I can at least do good work here. Still not Kelly. <laughs> Perfect. Crucible Project. Who's this mail from? God. Crucible Project, so much shiny tech. This is going to be fun, Shep. You can sue me. Calling in favors from a few friends will be around where you need us. John Dumbau. Ready for action, Commander. Also, never drinking with Vega again. Ash. Dear Commander Shepard, my name is Jessica Fromm. You saved my life on Benning. I've lost so many friends to all this, but I find hope in the idea that their memory lives on in me. I hope I know I'm just one woman, but I wanted to let you know you're making a real difference. Bless you, Commander. Jessica Fromm. All right. Time to cure the genophage. Who are we bringing? All hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? The sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. Uh, this is for Palavin, my dude? We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. <laughs> Everybody cool? We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt. Let's move, Pijack. It's time to cure the genophage. We weren't asking you, Rex. We knew. Dalatras. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solis has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the genophage will end in lasting peace? Yeah! Do you want to just hang up on her? I know we can't, but do you want to? We have to give uh. the Krogan that chance. <coughs> an entire race. 
race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another Tick, racism. Racism is what the answer. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Aren't you on the council? No. No, this is, this is the racial leader, not the counselor. Uh, I wonder why. All right. No, we're not doing that. We're who, not, no. Who, uh -uh. We bring, who we bring in? We're friggin' bringing in Reverend Garrus. And let's bring the old G squad. We gotta do bring Garrus and Liara. That's what Rex would want. Anyway, back to this because I. I hey, like... we're not sabotaging that. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. But, Stabby, consider the. the we reasons. have all the nerds we need. We don't need we... racist nerds. We have Kasumi, who's the biggest nerd. Yeah, she can literally be like, hey, Kasumi, these guys, just call the phone her up. It's like, hey, you, you want an excuse to steal something? These guys are bitches. Alright, go steal a bunch of Solarian tech. Okay, bye. <coughs> you good? Yeah, I'm just sick. So you're not good? I'm not dying, if that's what you're asking. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. <laughs> Commander, hey, Morden! I got a message. You literally can't. It doesn't matter what you say there. <laughs> you get interrupted. You know what? We tried. That's, that's Listen, we'll tell them later. We can run and go. Oh, it's hard to run and go with the program, let's be real. <laughs> Her, she goes by Eve, Rex. Old habits die hard. Everyone, pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Oh, they're now so move. stupid. If I think just carrying it in. No. Here they come. Push Sorry forward. About. Don't let them get up here. Oh, the bipod. Eve. It's one syllable, Rex. You can say it. You can do it, buddy. Maybe if he says female and anybody is like, any Krogans are listening, I'd be like, oh, damn. Oh, it's his motivation for the Krogan? Yeah. I have a worse it's take. A, I have a really it's bad a take. Krogivation. Rex is just a Redditor. <laughs> Rexiter, if you will. Rexit. We almost got them all. Yes. Rex is about to Rexit some of these Reapers, am That's I right? I'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? 
Saving your species. By the way, if Rex is um if Rex is dead, Reeve over there is the one that's in charge. He's an asshole. Ah. He's the worst. Yeah, what clan are you, buddy? Who are you? Erd not Reeve, rude brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I thank you. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. We play our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. Yeah, dude, I feel like this guy's got to chill. Fall in line, or? Yeah. There's no time for this. Whatever grudge you have against Salarians ends right now. As long as it involves a bullet in his head, time for some payback. <laughs> Stand down, Reeve. The Solarian is with me. Enough! All the men are like, oh, fuck. Reeve, stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? <laughs> Everybody better help! <laughs> I don't want to regret curing the genophage. Do you want this or not? What about the rest of you? <laughs> also, the track that's playing is called A Future for the Krogan. Good. Recapture the glory of the ancients. Glory of ancients led to Krogan rebellion, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan problematic. The ancients? What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference. No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I mean, they would have earned it by that point. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? With the Genophage Gear, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? Yes. Yeah! The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests, but familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on her. Why are we stopping? What now? <laughs> <coughs> Who's friggin' brake checking? Holding up traffic! That guy. Nobody better say you gotta see this. Nobody better say you better take a look at this. Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. 
It's looking ugly out here. The <laughs> reapers are bigger than I thought. <laughs> this combustion battle is going to. We have a death mask now. Hey! Daft Punk starts playing in the background. Do you want to wear the death mask? Absolutely. That's also a mod that you can change a uh, weapon and armor in the middle of a mission. Look at that reaper. It's the end of the world out there. And remember to bring this back. No. I'm not bringing this back. This is mine now. What's the hold up? Rose out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemex, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative Commander, our approach is locked. The Reaper already knows we're here. An airstrike yeah. alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Damn it. I don't Can't care just if we have make to build a new road. We are going. That was comically ragdoll. Rex, get the female out of here now. Go. See, yeah, now we're calling her the female. We're a redditor. Deep roads. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find them. Sorry, but the ground is shaking down here. Are you guys feeling the drummers? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. Did I hear <coughs> that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws? When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think we just... anyone's ever going to kill it. One yeah, okay. That's Kalmos. If that's what we've been hearing down here, I suggest we get moving. Well, what if we get the Thresher Maw to eat the Reaper? That'll save so many resources. You, you want to throw a giant worm at a space god death machine? If if, if science has taught me anything, if I've heard anything in sci-fi, is the giant space worm always wins. to be like sup bitches in my younger days I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins it makes you wonder what the Krogan might have done if they hadn't blown up the planet Rex we made it back outside well if you can see sunlight that's progress and the color green I thought plants were extinct around here you're looking at hope all that's left of it aren't it Chaka this is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. I like Krogan architecture. Like, this is fucking it. beautiful. It's, it's geometric, but not in a... Not in any way. Yeah. It's practical, but pretty. It feels like it's almost aztec -y. It's minimalistic, but not too minimalistic. 
Liara just got shelled. <coughs> Liara's fine. <coughs> Liara can take it, I trust her. You can generate black holes, she's fine. Also, for the Omega DLC, you wanted to uh, get a kiss from. Yeah, we want to get Mario. Switch. Another quake. That yeah. had to be Cal Ross. Stay sharp. It isn't over yet. It's fine. So, Stabby, how much do you know about this mission? Um... Nothing. You know nothing about this mission? <coughs> nothing. Okay. Not having a good day. <laughs> no. Shepard, we're coming up. Get down here when you get to the strike. Tell us. Rick, break off. We're getting out of here. Oh. That's a big worm. Is baby. Is baby? Baby. No, it's mommy. Is ba no, it's baby. Give pets. That, that's the mom, though. It's baby. Give pets. Give snack. Do you want? Are you saying the Reaper's a snack for the yeah. worm? Yes. I love Morden. <laughs> Morton's my favorite Solarian. <laughs> He's one of like two Solarians I like.
Also, I will say, this game definitely suffered for having an eight month dev cycle, right? Or 18 yeah. month dev cycle. Uh, this is still a good game. Like, it's, it's a pretty good game. Like, for a <coughs> game that was literally half baked, it's still a good game. It's still a good game. This bitch survives. I'm not Somehow. actually sure. <coughs> you ready to face down a reaper? Yeah. We don't have a plan for this. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that town, I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cal Ross. We summon her to the Reaper. See, this is why I like Eve. Work? Already did that <coughs> strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from power while cure synthesized, released. Hey, let's talk about Cal Ross. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Galros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. Cool! We've done crazier things! We flew through the Omega-4 relay and survived. We can do this. That's a spirit, Shepard. How would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Mawhammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish the synthesizing cure. All right, be safe, guys. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait. I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a sister to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero. Yeah! Let's show them why. <coughs> Let's go! I've got this. I am Earth at Rex, and this is my planet. On the other side. Remember, this is a guy who, we'll at the start of Mass Effect 1, was cynically just like, eh, we're all gonna die, who gives a shit. Yeah. Let's Everyone's grown up so much in two and a half years. Be with them. Go, let's push ahead. 
Okay. Chris is just like, my people aren't gonna disappoint me. Over on our left, one of the hammers. Second one's on the right. Ah! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I don't I don't think God here right now. Run, run, run. Just just get to the hammer. Look at the size of that thing. It's big! Okay, we first aid. Meat shields continue to shield. There's a reaper in my way. <laughs> Treasure mods weren't on the Reaper's radar because they're not. They're not spacefaring. They're not spacefaring. The Reaper's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh god. Your lasers don't work in the ground! Give Snick. Shrama is bigger than the Reaper. Shrama is bigger than the Shroud. The Reaper's like, I got it. Good. All right, where was I? Oh God! <laughs> no lasers for you, bitch. In the ground. Oh, it's getting death coiled. It's getting death coiled. It's getting dragged. Indoctrinate that, bitch. <laughs> I don't know if there's you enough can't. sentience it's there. It's only got an end score of one! Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if there's enough sentience there to indoctrinate. Cure dispersed properly. Warden, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variance. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Warden, no. Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'll miss you, Morden. So, there's a way to get Morden to survive this. Yeah? We can't. You need to kill Rex on Vermeyer. So Reeve is the leader of Clan Erdnot. You need to destroy Malon's data, so Eve dies. And you need to conceal the sabotage of the Shroud. And then you can convince Morden that, hey, Reeve alone is just going to cause another Krogan uprising. Just leave it alone. And he'll be like, you're right. <coughs> Aww. Listen, this is what more. We'll miss you, Morden. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. 
Somebody else could have gotten it wrong. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Yep. Genophage cured. Krogan free. New beginning. For all of us. I'm just saying, if he'd run back to the elevator there, he probably could have. We salute you, buddy! And now the shroud is destroyed, so there's no way they could ever do this again. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we're we'll fighting <coughs> for our children, not against them. Aw, oh, Tick. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He was a good friend, though he didn't assist. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Bye, Eve! Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Bakara is her name. Agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. The Solarians do realize that if, if we don't get, if Man, like, not, Rex has begun they don't help and we all, you kept your end of the we all die, they're. They're dying too, right? Yep. <laughs> the Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. Tick, w oh wait, I missed a moment. Did we lose someone? Yeah, we lost Morden. Morden. Morden died to save all the Krogans. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. 
To that end, several tri dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. That wasn't a great Final I'll Fantasy start movie. Terrain support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying. It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. Besides, I know where you sleep. We'll wake you if anything comes up. Osvando's right. Shepard's starting to fray a bit. Starting. What? Nah. Oh, it's nightmare. <laughs> nightmare, baby. PTSD, PTSD. A bench. We'll take a nap. We are. That's what caused this. No, this is sleeping. It's not napping. It's a big difference. Crazy eyes, Shepard. Shepard needs a right goddamn there. vacation, yeah. It's open. Shepard, oh, they are. there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? I mean, it's not going to be a good time. <laughs> I was remembering the lost people. Thinking of some... <coughs> ...thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Do we really miss Kaden? I, 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 mm. We'll let them rest. No one I want to talk about right now. I understand. This is a fair assessment. I don't want to talk about Kaden right now. The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. If they're literally like, no, you can't have that. I'm the punch. Commander. There is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. Go fuck yourself. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life for once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. Why bring this to me? Put Citadel security on it. You're a human and relatively neutral politically. Your backing would help me ease through. Well, 
best not speak of it now. Come to the Citadel and grant me a moment of your time. You may find it interesting. Valorant out. <laughs> this is your Citadel you know security support. No, oh, okay, the only guy who actually listens to us. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. That's just that was just a uh, trainer saying, "Hey, you can talk to Hackett." Oh, lucky. Did you get the fish feeder thing? Yes. Well, consider Hackett talked to. Yes, we have the fish feeder thing. Also, I know where I know our fucking hamster is down in engineering. I know huh. it is. Hey, we just got a model. Get boat. We got a ship. We should go talk to everyone as well. Yeah. Given, you know, we just undid the greatest war crime in black history. <coughs> in war crime history. Heard. Hamster! Hamster! Did I get it? Is he literally running around the ship? Yes. No, he's running oh around my. engineering. That's just part of the ship! Come on. You son of a bitch. Did I get him? Got him! Yeah, we got hamster! Got your boo! Our miniature giant space hamster. Let's go say hello to Boo. Yeah, go say hello to hamster. Beesh. Beesh. Also, I liked how the squeak was just very clearly a guy. Just going, squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Boo knows how to talk. Space hemp store! Viturian, Commander. Cerberus has attacked a comp facility on Onturum. I've updated the galaxy map. You <coughs> actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. Yeah, I can see why she's absolutely a lesbian option. Mm -hmm. Or at least stealth by. <coughs> no, she, she's gay. She's she's fully gay. She's been confirmed to be a uh, lesbian. Yes. All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Um, I give up. <laughs> Correct. All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How hey, you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask you sorry for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterwards. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance <laughs> hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. <laughs> hey, what's the hard part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I like them bantering. It's good. <laughs> I thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He, he's a friend. He was a good miss him. We never yeah, got to hear him do the song! The one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but 
I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. To save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. <laughs> it, feel, it kind of feels good, actually, you know. It's, it feels Enough nice. misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. It, it never crossed it never our crossed mind. Never crossed Not for a second. Not ever for a second. I never bring myself to do that. No matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. That's what we're here for. Our luck holds. Where's Edie? Yeah, I want, we're Edie. I, I want to see Edie. Where are Edie at? I would like to see the Edie. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Oh god. Um. A lot. Problem solving to Chaka from Garrus. Summoning the mother of all Thresher Maws. You just ha never make it dull, do you? Just wish we'd all come home. Garrus. For a guy named Joker, he tells some terrible ones. With the Krogan on our side, I guess he's allowed to celebrate. Garrus. I have made the necessary preparations regarding Krogan support, although the long-term issues remain. Edie. Oh boy. Here we go. From Dalatras Linron. Commander, I'm deeply disappointed by your actions on T'Chaka, as I thought I had made clear curing the genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat is passed, our, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the Genophage, and the Salarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am, a, I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but all of galactic civilization. Dalatras Linrin, Salarian Union. Yeah, but guess what? <coughs> he made that decision! You know what else? Go fuck yourself. From her, not Rex. Shepard. Making babies again will be fun. As soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Kelphic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> Rex is basically, hey, thanks for getting me laid. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and saving all the people. From General Corinthus, Commander Shepard, when you first arrived on Mene, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit that I am impressed. You've broken an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavin might be saved after all. With great respect to General Corinthus Mene Command. Shiala. Hmm? He, he knows what's up. Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The Thorian is dead now, I can confirm that. But the spores in our bodies remain, and on some level we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back against the Reapers, we feel each other and act as one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. 
I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I willingly went, went willingly to the Sir Thorian to serve as its thrall. But my connection to the people of Zoo's hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. The situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety. But with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos. Our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. Shiala. From Alliance News Network Partners, Pharaohs, a group of colonists on Pharaohs have mounted a defensive against, a reaper, against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zeus Hope, said to be survivors of a savage Geth attack several years ago, has repelled an initial Reaper landing attempt with the level of wartime competence more common to the seasoned platoons. The colonists, colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supplies salvaged from a, deject, a defunct exogenous facility. This colony is our home, colony spokesperson Elizabeth Bainham said. We survived worse, and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for full evacuation before more Reaper forces arrive. Feels nice to, to have some good news, huh? <laughs> yeah! Come on, Dad. You don't need to... You don't need to do that. Of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Oh hey, sweet, we get a we get paddlefish. We have Hey Sham. I glad I'm I'm happy they're using Tolly, but I'm also like Where's Tolly? Later. Not soon enough. Not soon enough. No. No. You want to get the best thruple in the galaxy back together? Absolutely. Busy. I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. That young, huh? Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Well, it's not over! Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I got a Can we romance the at this point or no? We can, but it'll be a lot more obvious. Also, we're locked okay. in with Garrus, so like... That's true, okay. We can be nice to Liara. It's not like we couldn't speak to her at all in the first game. Mm -hmm. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Do you want to do Omega now? Uh, sure. Messages terminal has new correspondence. Yeah, once we uh, talk to everyone. I want to see if Edie's back. No. Where is he? Edie's in the AI core, okay. He's like, I used to look like this, now I do not. Technically, Edie still does. He's having an in and out of body experience. Yes. 
Dang, I didn't know she was a fan of burger joints. What are you up to no. now? I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Hello, Shepard. All right, let's go talk to James and Cortez. Cortez! Actually, okay. Do you want to do Omega? Or do you want to essentially kick off Act 2? No, Omega. Omega? So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Yeah. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. I hope I didn't leave you hanging too long in that last Cerberus raid. Just glad we made it out in one piece. It's been a while since I've seen a dogfight like that. Really missed my trident. ACM isn't really the Kodiak's strong suit. Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that server's cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Sometimes I worry about you, man. Ma'am. It was a bad guy's ship getting blown up. Come on, every ten-year-old loves to see that. Down. Pabi. Pabi. He walks like a like a <laughs> Frenchie. Bit. Winter, he this thing, this thing walks rig. like a Frenchie. Look at it. He, he probably has the same rig model as the Varen do. Parts of the chunk are reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the same. <laughs> you think that curated dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Hey. Yeah. It's a baby. It's BB Reaper. Alright, let's go... Let's go get Arya Smooches. I hate sand, it's coarse and gets everywhere. God damn it, take <laughs> And then after Omega, we'll probably call stream. Yeah.
Of course her class is called Biotic Boss. <laughs> Gatekeep Gaslight Girl Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what else was she gonna be? Be real. Space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So, you commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. Cool, I like it. If you're as accommodating the rest of the way, we'll get along very well. And let's quit talking and get to it. Ray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Ah, oh, remember this shithole? Yeah. Arya's like, it's a shithole, but it's my shithole. Head for the command ship. Signal the fleet through the relay. And she got more than one. Yeah. <laughs> We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Aria. I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Go it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. Maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. I doubt the elusive man thinks of me that highly. I do my own research, Commander. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris Armoury. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got. Hey, Squallover. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. No! 
we've done worse. I mean, I we just lost a bit of the of the. We can make it. We just lost a bit of the ship. Damn it! Program escape pods for the station. Let's go! Everyone out! There's no time. Oh, this is eerily familiar. Hmm. I can't, couldn't, couldn't tell you. Before, At least we're on an escape pod this time. Yeah. Really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. Oh, you're all gonna die in about two seconds. I take it we do this one solo. No, we have we have we like, have a squad. I mean, like without the the, the normal crew. Yes, correct. Out of all the Normandy peeps, the it's just Shepard. It. <laughs> Alright, what's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. This big ass gun. They'll regenerate in a few seconds. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Glad to hear it! Makes sense. We'll play to our strengths. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. <laughs> I'm back, fuckers. <laughs> I see the where they have put all their F-bombs. <laughs> of course, it's Arya. You think they're gonna? Think they're gonna make her go? Oh shoot! Gee golly, Willikers. Stupid, isn't he? There. Listen, let's just say you didn't graduate top of his class. Team, report in. Great, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. 
Start prepping for our ships to land. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. Show sure, another power flush reason. Continuing to stabilize sectors 3, 14, and 15 are set for mandatory shutdown. All personnel to be reassigned. By the way, this this DLC has a new kind of Reaper in it. Oh, well, of course it does. Nope, you guys tear it down. Shit. It's my turret now. You made this? I made this. You made this? It's mine now. Getting close. Those cannons have to be stopped. Next area needs to be repressurized. Initiating. <laughs> I love this gun. He's a good gun. He's a good gun. Oh, hi. Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. That's a really strong set of glass. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. 
Independent power source, life support munitions. You'll see. Ring it. Deploy to D deck. Investigate. No wait further instructions. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's one of these pretentious assholes. You gonna give him an apple to eat too? Then no time for sightseeing. Let's go kill a bitch. Great, stay sharp. You might get visitors. Bray's just like, ah. I've locked down the way we came. Bray's just like, you do pay me enough for this, but only just. <laughs> I know if I, this is like if I, if I walk out on you, you'll kill me. They just take everybody off of Omega. What? They just take everybody off of Omega. No, Omega's a slave colony now, basically. Uh, well, no. Because Omega was a was an asteroid mining facility before. Yeah. You know. Feels good to let loose. That's her. Uh, now you see me. By the way. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but she's angry about it and is kicking ass, so she gets a pass. The Omega Skyline. Now I feel like I'm back. Strange. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. Thanks, Arya. Some of my men. Oh, that's a grenade. Granada. Omega's mine. We're getting close to the rendezvous. Let's move. I know that something. Looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property, too. Warning. Omega has been compromised. All servers, personnel, report to station. A Talon symbol again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. Do you know much about this DLC, by the way? No. Cool. What the hell is he doing? All right, they got mechs. Remember these guys? They got yeah. some upgrades. Oh. Those mechs are coming through the force field. Stand still, you piece of shit. My mech now. Yeah, remember when you put uh, robot bits in us? Yeah. Fast. 
Would you say they're faster? Nah, nah, that's fine. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out who's on my side and who's not right now. Now I think that one's on my side. Need to check out that force field. I mean, why? We saw what happens to people who touch it. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. I was gonna laugh. There's like, there's literally a door. Right through this wall. There's an emergency door right here. That'd be funny. <laughs> That's not what happened. Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. Who's back? Aria to look. Oh, it's a female Turian. Well, Irene. say hello to the first female Turian ever in the series. Playing cat and mouse mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels. My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. So, fun fact. Uh huh. Nyrene is the Paragon character in this. Ah. Uh. Anything you do to that makes Arya happy will piss her off, and vice versa. Ah. Uh. But she won't kiss us. So. Ah. Uh. Looks like you pass out your secrets to anybody. You're mistaken, Commander. Arya keeps secrets better than anyone I know. Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex-Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. I won't fall back to get you, so keep moving. Don't worry. It's in my interest to stay close. I'm just picking all the renegade because that's... Yep. I know that's the guarantee <laughs> way. Back, Aria, to reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything. What's the fleet status? Does does Kondros on our squad? She is cool. Also, I like how they kind of copped out of making the females models with any dimorphism. With what do you mean? cloaks, cloaks, hoods, cloaks, cowls, cloaks, cloaks, ropes, cloaks. <laughs> A female Krogan, cloaks. Female Turian, cloak. Eighteen month dev cycle. <laughs> it's also why all the Reapers look identical. To each other. Except the big ones. Nope. Even those look identical. No, clearly they've been moved up to scale. No, no, no. But the destroyers look identical to other destroyers. The capital ships look identical to, identical to other capital ships. Big.
Also, maybe I'm too used to just looking at Garrus, but she looks, like, way younger. Her plates are less scuffed up. To be fair, she hasn't taken a missile to the face. That's true. But even before Garrus took a missile to the face. Maybe she just moisturizes really well. You know, she buffs those those uh, those plates. We'll flank the enemy. Get them off you. Yes, you are. Get flanked. They blew up. That would have been funny. Unfortunately, no friendly fire also applies to them. Sounds illegal. Oh, those are our guys, okay. Shut down imminent. Good. Punch the robot. Punch the robot. Shut it out like it. I didn't see that. I, I didn't. Dwarf, are you doing your job? Dwarf's doing his job! So I thought it. Find that Oh, hi. This is a longer DLC than I remember. We may have to actually split some of these streams. May. I'm not entirely sure. I think we got this. We're 
in, lock it down. I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the General's clued in? Maybe you felt safer hiding in the dark. You should both know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. The fact, I went to great lengths to keep her. I'm not easily duped. Well done. I just couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. <coughs> How do we know she isn't working for Cerberus? You're way off there. I know from personal experience that there isn't a corruptible bone in my body. Also, why why the lizard lady have tips? Is an illegal action. They need to be swept off this station. Talk is cheap. I welcome the scrutiny, Commander. Don't worry, Nairi. I know you're no threat to us. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty, officer. This is lawful good and lawful evil, the couple. <laughs> Keep an eye on her. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. You'll do what you need to do. And here I thought you might come here trying to change me. Oh no, we already figured that out. Once up and running, this bunker will provide <clears throat> recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. Hey man, listen, no hard feelings. Last time we were here we did kill a lot of mercs, but look, we just had to. How are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source. Priority one. I will need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. And we need to find allies. <sighs> Story of my life. We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting. choice, but they're all we've got. We'll make them join, one way or another. Perfectly put. I get so many renegade odd points. It's gonna be so good. You wanna be a bad ass. Yes. What is it? Just checking in. Fine. When you're ready, we'll leave from the exit just past the armory. We're a bad ass. Yeah, bad ass. <laughs> Look at our renegade bar. We gotta pump those numbers up. Yep. This is gonna be it. It's gonna be gonna hit them Renegon points. Good luck out there.
Also, this will unlock Aria for use in N7, in N7 missions. Ooh, if weird. if we do enough to get her to kiss us. Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. All soldiers know they're expendable. Exactly. The Talons are mine already, they just don't know it yet. Just let me do the talking and... Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus. Say what you will about Arya. She leads from the front. Yeah, she's just like, I am a spearhead. <clears throat> she does not sit in the comm room and tell other people to die. I mean, oh. she does tell other people to die, but not from a comm room. should lead us to Talon territory. Almost done scanning this location. Surveillance drones indicate the detention center is on par with the last one we hit, but something feels off with the patrol patterns and that the display table is spitting out. I'd recommend another observation run before we try to extract the civilians. H. He went kaboom. He did go kaboom.
I like the melee combo in this game. It's very satisfying. It is very good, these. <coughs> The Cerberus know. Little do they know. Like this dude who's just walking right up to the doorway and stabbed you. Like, that guy deserved a medal if he wasn't immediately dead. <laughs> I didn't have to fire a bullet for that one. You're saving on munition. Okay, we broke through sir oh down here. Remember, this was post-release DLC. Yep. Take care of the wounded and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. <laughs> Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyreen, aren't you full of surprises? Arya. You have smooth head. The 
deception yes. was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Aria, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're coming with you. You get our help now in return for hearing us out later. She has your charm, Aria. But not my patience. No, we have a different level Fine. of patience. I don't have time to argue, and we can use the extra guns. Let's go. Oh, this is just how, like how you guys perform in D&D. &D. We're yeah. going to help you. You have no choice. You notice the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. We are going to help you. This is a threat. Man, they don't, they they sure like to make these slow these days, huh? Yeah. Rampart mechs incoming. How come? Oh wait, no. Okay, I thought there were mechs with people in them. I'm about to be like, how come these dug in liquefy? I could it cheat, but they're not, so I can't complain. It's almost like they gave this a few seconds of thought. No, that's illegal. <coughs> Bye, Mac. Now. They left an atlas behind to cover their retreat. Oh, they did. Huh. Ow. Dwarb and Tichankla are the best. Oh, they, they had left us a Hydra missile launcher, but uh, we didn't end up using it. Another nice, speedy elevator. You guys ever been to the Citadel? I, well, I know you've been to the Citadel. You've been to the Citadel? Oh, I thought it. I thought screen went black for a cutscene. No, I was just in the terrain.
See, Nyrene, you blew our cover. God damn it, Nyrene. Finally, little recognition. Actually, Arya, I'm Target Alpha. <laughs> what? What did I detect? What? They got. They got Raiden from Metal Gear Rising? Damn. Yeah, fun fact, uh, they're actually supposed to be introduced later in main game, but because we're doing the DLC, they're just here. <coughs> I didn't mean the whispering, we had to be quiet and then I already blew our cover. You missed. Thank you, miss. <laughs> Shut up. Damn, it's that time. I don't know, I blinked. Get, get, get Alex, miss. That person died a horrible death. Yeah. They are electrocuted. so many times it hardly knows up from down anymore. Nyrene to base. Need an engineer at the catwalk's entrance. Door's jammed again. This may take a moment. You're not just using the catwalks as a secret passage to the base, are you? A long drop is the best way to get rid of unwanted guests around here. Welcome to Fuckland! Yum. Uh, not great in a place for, with a bunch of pits. Oh no, Tonkla does not hover? Uh, she has to hit the ground first. She has a little base that hits the ground and then she pops out of it. Oh, it's a Pokeball. Kinda, yes. Well, uh, if that guy survives, give him the medal. Good throw. Doors open. Let's go. Hurry up. I need to get to my people. It's good to see you, boss. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant's presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. 
Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before. They're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Don't let Check it off. Distracted by what ifs. What I saw, I'll carry with me until the end of my days, Commander. But it won't keep me from fighting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. I like Nyrene. The adjutant. He's like, I'm a guest up then. Does she have skin? Or does she have scales? Complaining. Uh both. I guess it's got a task to something. Oh right, yeah. Our our scars will come back for two renegades. <laughs> I forgot about that part. It's fine. We do not have scars yet. Uh. Did your game just crash? I think so. We're fine. I'm pretty sure that was an autosave. And if not, then we'll pick it up <coughs> next stream. This is funny because that was right at midnight. <laughs> okay, we came back right exactly where we were. Cerberus is backing off for oh, now. Oh, uh, Nyrene is sure invisible. Scouts keep an eye out for the next. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene. <laughs> but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseating and loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. Open your eyes. This is a war of attrition and you're on the wrong side. You might be right. But the people of Omega are my priority. It's also the wrong person talking. You take over subtitles. Yep. and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega. Oh mods are mods are fucking this this cutscene up. <laughs> yep. As everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. They're looking at each other like, uh... Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! Nope, oh, they're both invisible. That's your plan? Throw civilians? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya, and I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go now. Well, what? Well, 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 well. <laughs> the people of Omega, my people, love this street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly but d and oh. therefore easy oh. to manipulate. Well, yeah, just like it's so easy to manipulate what you're saying. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. 
glad I got his Listen, attention. the quicker this the this scene's the over. My people and I will hold the main oh. doors. What? Got it. All right. Oh. Uh, uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> Biotic side effects. <laughs> They're wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. Okay, Arya's just stuck like that, I guess, until we, uh. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, her ar like rip her arms. Her arms were ripped. Me on the safe side. Hmm? As your one arm, but you know. Yeah, when we said not being on the same side, was that someone we're talking about? Why is she just deep closing it? I them? need to. I need to. I need to completely shut down the game and. Uh... <laughs> Okay, you know what? I think the game has decided that it's time to stop yeah, for the night. This is my last stream of Dino. <laughs> Everyone remember, when you play with mods, sometimes things are gonna be weird. <laughs> it took three games! That was beautiful! Let's just stop looking! Okay, we may have to... Okay, we're not that far back. I, I'll just restart, and, uh... We'll, we'll pick this up next stream when I get back to where we were. <laughs> stop there for the night thank you everybody so much for watching if you like the stream make sure to follow if you want to support us you can subscribe it's free with twitch prime if you'd like to join a great group of people over a great group of people over on discord you can join our server which not has been looking all night and if you'd like to watch our vods after twitch release them you can go to youtube.com slash insomnicasting but whether you watch five minutes the whole thing or you're watching the vod right now we appreciate each and every one of you have a good night everybody <laughs>